I didn't realize he had a big pileated woodpecker about 10 feet from me on the other side of a tree here and oh there he goes he was just over here like that tree or that tree and I was calling for TJ because he went the wrong way and all of a sudden I heard him fly we're going for a bushwhack over to an ATV trail and we'll decide from there Now we've got our bearings in a big valley here that I just took a picture of. I'll probably put it before this section of the video. But we're going to follow the edge of this valley. It comes out to a big, like I recognize the valley where the ATV trail goes across. It's actually a water crossing. So we're just going to bushwhack along the edge. We came across this cool spot with this great big rock and the stream passing under it. Pretty cool. It's, it's a huge, huge boulder. Looks like a cave from a distance. So I'm just slowly fi figuring out the lay of the land. We, we came up on a, a lake that I, uh, I bushwhacked to the other side of it. Kind of the south, uh, the southern end of it. We're kind of in the halfway up on the east end of it. So we're just going to make our way back to the cabin now. I'm going to take a picture of that. I think we're making our way along a beaver trail. I don't know if you can make it out. Just going along there. TJ's got the scent. I'm just trying, trying to stay low along the uh, the edge of this valley. I keep wanting to come up on somebody's secret little crown lamb cabin it's something I always dreamed of doing instead I found uh, this land on an unorganized township there's part of me that would still like to be in a more remote area I love it this time of year we're in between uh, ATV and snowmobile season. So it's very peaceful and quiet. It's not bad through the week here, it's just the weekends. Everybody comes up. So you take advantage of times like these. Can't believe this, it's December 29th. It's about minus five. Absolutely no snow on the ground. Well, not absolutely. <laughs> not enough to impede your travels. And actually, it's nice. The ground's all frozen. What you doing? Do you love bushwhacking? <laughs> Do you love bushwhacking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have fun. to get up here might be a nice view it's amazing how there always seems to be uh, little animal trails along these uh, bodies of water whether it's a lake or a pond or a swamp or you should really wear safety glasses in the bushwhacking now I'm at that odd point where you're like, uh, geez, this is taking a little longer than I thought. <laughs> so the 
a little tiny bit of doubt starts to creep in. Oh, am I lost? But, once you know the landmarks in the area, they don't lie. I know that this valley goes east-west. And that if I follow the edge of it, which I am doing, it's right there, the edge of the swamp. I know that I will eventually come to the trail. This could very well be it. TJ's going over that way. He's been doing good, so I'm going to keep following him. Oh yeah, he's on another little trail here. I think it's another beaver trail. Could be a deer trail, I guess. But we're going to keep plugging away. We'll be nice and pooped out. By the time we get back to the cabin, I've said it before, the uh, bushwhacking is like whew, 10 times harder than just walking on a trail. You gotta watch every step and uh, you never know what you're getting into. Working up a sweat. Following the animal trails, they know where they're going. <laughs> Pretty cool terrain. We did have quite a walk in, so unimpeded. So I shouldn't be surprised that. Oh, here we are. I just saw a little uh, trail sign. Yep, TJ's on the trail. We made it. I'll have to remember where we came out here. Well, it's pretty obvious we're right at the crossing. Here, I may as well show you where we come out here. The trail. Is it the trail? It's got to be. Yep. And we made it to the uh, water crossing. There was a bunch of ATVs that went by a few days ago. Might have been Boxing Day. It was a lot milder then. It looks like they went through. past those, past this one that uh, makes it look like it ends, but it keeps going. <laughs> I don't know how far I dare walk out in this. It's actually like two or three feet deep right here. You know what, it's real solid. Right there, there's heavy current. I can even hear it. So I wouldn't dare walk across there. Maybe where there's remnants of a dam here. So I can see grass sticking up through it. But uh, that leads to the main road. It's the shorter way home, but I don't want to risk it. And I don't have a collar or a leash for TJ. So we'll take uh, the back way. 
I'm glad I've met uh, my neighbor. He owns uh, a few hundred acres all along this side, this back end of the valley, actually, probably up there too. So uh, his, his and my land butt up against each other. So I have his permission to walk through his trail and come over here. Makes for a nice, uh, a nice hike. Being able to just walk out behind my cabin and hit the trail. I don't have to worry about meeting anybody. Nobody uses the land back here, especially this time of year. A lot of people that seem to just come back here in the fall for deer season and that's it. So, uh, whew, I may have to stop somewhere and take a breather. You can see my dwindling pile and all that big bottom stuff is all rotted, uh, punky um, hemlock that I use just to keep the good stuff off the ground. So. I'm lucky if I've got a couple of weeks left there. That's two and a half trailer loads, two rows. I gotta create a, put down some more wood and create a third and fourth row. Take advantage of uh, no snow. It's about zero degrees today, a little breezy though. It's not supposed to snow until after supper. But you never know around here. Clouds are looking a little gray. It feels stormy. Comes and goes though. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, use my time wisely here and uh, plug away at some firewood. Go get the trailer. I think I gotta pump the tire up again. I took the leader hose off of this seems to me it's just supposed to be a hose that goes from here and you tuck it down into the hole so that it loops and rain doesn't get in it but the other guy had a, a one-way valve on it a Schrader valve for like HVAC and I removed that because I found this on a trail but it uh, sucks in but doesn't blow out that doesn't seem right to me because when you get expansion and contraction you don't want the gas expanding with a warmer day after a cool night and pushing all the gas into the carb so it always smelled gassy. I left it off last night and I don't smell the smell anymore and it, uh, it's idling better. So hopefully I'm on to something. I'll just get, I think I've already got a little piece of gas line. trailer. I'm, uh, got the trailer hooked up and going down where I process the wood at the driveway. Get her back right up to the pile. See there's the driveway, there's the road out there. It goes up to the other cabin, to my shed. And then you can see the cabin right there. Gives you an idea of the perspective of this place. Actually, uh, there's the other cabin. That actually used to be uh, the driveway of the original owner. His cabin is up past that shed. I put that in just as a way of blocking off the driveway and it was put to the levelest spot on this land. I think I'm going to uh, rethink where I process the wood, maybe do it out here. And it's fairly flat here, the only problem is it's wet. I'm going to have to build, up, build it up here a bit. I'd like to do like a pole barn style shelter here for keeping the Jeep in. Might be next year's or this year's project now. We're into January. Well, I got a couple more trailer loads down here went for a good hike yeah there's why I need to bring more wood down one two three four. I bet you I've got a week's worth there if I'm lucky 
but I'm building her up over here. I had a bunch of uh, lumber here where I would have put a wood pile here because especially when there's snow that's awkward as heck getting up and down there especially when you get a load of lumber a load of lumber a load of uh, firewood but yeah that's two rows so far that's probably uh, a couple of face cords or is it I always forget if the face cords are four foot wide eight long by four high I'll have to look that up, I forget. And I've got three more rows, probably four more rows like that. There's three more, but they're stacked higher. And this is something I've learned, I should have known from just seeing how other people do it, but I originally had this wood, when it was over in the driveway, I had it completely tarped. And bad time of year too when everything was the ground wasn't frozen yet so all the moisture from the ground came up and condensation and whatnot and uh, got the wood really wet so I folded back the tarp over at the driveway and kept it open along here and it seems to have improved the wood quite a bit I left the wood too long too I uh, before I split it so I was pushing it, it wasn't, it didn't season as well as it, it wasn't as, as seasoned as it could have been. Anyway, got the generator going. This is uh, an every day or every other day event. When uh, you're in the dead of winter, what is it, February 2nd, I think? this mess too there's uh, all kinds of soft wood there yeah I was working on the Jeep a little bit I've got a CV axle with a torn boot it's a bloody shame because the axles fine but you can't change those boots you can but I don't have the right tools to do it so squirting grease into the cracked boot and covered it in tuck tape <laughs> but actually I, I did the same a few days ago and took a trip up to North Bay and back and the tuck tape was on this stuff's incredible I know it's kind of silly but I'm just trying to band-aid it oh it's nice and frozen man if I had a pair of skates it's just flat 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 when was the last time I was out on it I've transferred my, uh, the reason why I went north, up to North Bay, uh, was to get my propane, so I had to unhook the propane off my deep freeze, so I moved everything out here. It's that time of year, may as well save some propane, and uh, it's a bit of a pain in the butt, but I'm about to take out some stuff for supper. Uh, hey, it's, uh, saves me, what, about uh, 55, 60 bucks every 40 days. That's about what the deep freeze takes in propane. Okay, I'm going to get some uh, supper out here. Worked up an appetite today.